Hey, it's Monday. Where's my hand? I lost my hand. There's my hand. There's my other hand. I have two hands. And it's Monday. Oh, Bridget has two hands as well. That's handy. It is so, handy. Yeah, it's handy. So it's Monday, and even though it's summer, uh, you can tell it's summer because I'm wearing my my white polo shirt and I'm heavily tanned. Uh, even though it's summer, uh, we're continuing because we are committed hard asses to what we do. We're also freelancers, so we don't get paid if we don't work. Uh, <laughs> hey. Uh, hi from Bremen, and over to you. Oh, over to you. <laughs> hi from San Antonio, Texas. I'm loving summer in Texas. Yes, it's hot. Yes, it's humid. But I was at a whiskey distillery um, this weekend, and it just downpoured. It was 90 degrees. It was raining. It was glorious. Wow. And I was laughing hysterically. People were running and like it was 40 degrees. I mean, I love the rain. I love walking in the rain. I, I'll never forget walking in the rain. I had this coat. I still have it. Um, it doesn't fit me anymore because I lost 35 pounds. But um, I've walked in the rain in many cities because of word camps. But I remember walking in the rain with that in Rochester, New York. It just was so glorious. And but here, when it rains, it's like almost tropical, you mm. know, it's Someone's still sweating warm. On you. No, it just feels so warm. It, I've, I've never lived where the rain was warm. Mm. So it's super cool. And, you know, so here's the thing. You've got green outside, green trees, rivers to play in, all this stuff. That means there's some water. And even though Texas is in a drought, you still need that continuous watering, right? I can't just have my plants here and there's the two new ones and not take care of them. You have to take care of the things that matter to you. So why not talk about raining and nurturing your website? So a lot of people think, Warren, I'm sure you have, have this happen a lot because you're building websites. The site is built, how long will it take? How much will it cost? Can you do X, Y, and Z? And then uh, it's over. But to me, that's the beginning. And maybe it's because I'm not the builder, I'm the writer. Or actually, funny story, not so funny, but the reason why I write for my clients is because I go, y'all don't have enough stuff on your website to tweet out, you need to blog. So like, both of us write for our clients and we have mutual clients. So how can we help small businesses and nonprofits make this simpler and less overwhelming? Okay. Was that a rhetorical question? No. Over to you and Brayman. Oh my God. Um, Man on the street. Wow. How do we make, how do we like, we talk about content marketing. And I, you know, really, they just need blog posts. So, how do we make that simple? Um, yeah, uh, I, I think "simple" is the key word here. Um, I was still waiting for you to intro the whole thing. You're talking about rain. I was gonna, was gonna talk about yeah. how it's only raining here, and now I'm having to ask. I'm having to answer the question. Queen uh, of allegories. Yeah. Wow. Storytelling, um, baby. <laughs> Yeah, um, you know, I, I'm a big fan of keeping it simple because I'm a simple guy. Uh, <laughs> and, um, you know, I think this, I think what might be the problem is that, you know, everyone's scared off by this whole content marketing um, terminology, you know, whether it be content marketing or, or, or social media marketing or, uh, corporate publishing or corporate content or oh, whatever. I mean, BS with the buzzwords, you know, um, underlying it all. And we, we talked about this yesterday already, I think is, um, is, is one keeping it simple because people really are quite simple. Um, and, um, you know, doing something, anything to make that connection. You've got to have, you've got to have the empathy. You've got to think 
less about what you're selling and more about who you're selling it to. And I think that's always the big disconnect. Um, and, and then people freeze, they panic. Um, and I think this is also in, for, uh, you know, as, as people who, who, who make this, this market, um, what it is, is that, you know, our posts, you know, our blog posts, I look back at my blog posts from like six, seven years ago. Oh my blog gosh, posts, who was allowed to be on my website? It was terrible. Yeah, but I mean, there was, there was like two paragraphs. That was your blog post. You know, it was like, there was a tweet, there was a Facebook post, then there was a blog post. And now, you know, you've got the gurus of content marketing saying, hey, you know, a blog post for Google to, to you know, to notice it, it's got to be 4,700 words. Um, and here, take a look at my blog post. It's got 97 images. It's like, well, this is no longer a blog post. This is now... This is now Annoying. downloadable ebook content, which is maybe, yeah, it's a content marketing um, vehicle. But so I think, you know, we need to take a big breath and say, hey, you know, small business, nonprofit, school, guy alone selling those inflatable hand things that you stick in front of the car sales thing, you know, like whoever you are, um, it can be really simple. It should be really simple. You know, um, so what's an example of that? What's an example of that? Well, then we're like you're have, always talking yeah. about the donut shop. Yeah, no, I'm going to talk. I'm not going to talk about the donut shop right now. I'm gaining a lot of weight. I mean, I didn't have a donut. I I did not get a donut from Dunkin' Donuts when I was in Hamburg two days ago. Yeah. And there's no Dunkin' Donut stores where I live in my city. You want a Dunkin' Donut? You got to drive an hour and a half. And do you know what a Dunkin' Donut costs here? Two euros and twenty cents a donut. Oh, that's like that's like three, five dollars. No, no, it's not. It's like three dollars. Like three dollars okay. for a donut, but it might as well be five. What what a Dunkin' Donuts cost at your place? Like what? I don't know. I don't something? go to the donuts. I love donuts with all of my heart. Yeah. Well, that's I didn't why I don't go. Okay, so that's, that's I, yeah. That's I didn't lose thirty five pounds by eating donuts. Listen, if I'm going to eat something like that, I'm eating cake. A cake, donut, tomato, tomato. Anyway, we're we're losing our audience. You know, so all like keep it, so keep it simple. Keep it simple. Right. And, so let's have that as an example. Okay. So example is way before social media and content marketing, we had frequently asked question pages on our websites. In fact, right. we still have them. But they're like the ugly stepsister of content marketing. You know, everyone ignores them. All right? But here's the thing, to use one of your terms. Um, Google loves frequently asked question pages. Why? Because it loves schema structured data. What can you do? You can only do two things with Yoast and their structured data, but at least you can do something with them. One is you can stick a Yoast block um, for like how-to steps. And the other thing is you can stick in a Yoast block for FAQs. So it comes out of the box, free WordPress plugin, Yoast. You can create an FAQ page. Okay. okay. And, and that might seem all modern and sci-fi with new structured data and things like that. But where I'm going the very long way is that when I was a lad, we would have people call, you know, the university and say, yeah, um, I need information about blah, blah, blah. Now, if they looked, they could find it on the website. But Maybe they couldn't, or maybe they didn't bother. So now this, for me, is an alarm bell. This is saying, aha, this is something that someone needs to find out. So what would we do with that question? And then the answer we gave them? We Put would, it into a blog post. We, well, we no, but back then we didn't have blog posts. Oh, you're, like, you're five back years in ahead the day. of me. Yeah, back in the days before blog posts, we would stick their question and our answer on the FAQ page. 
we used to call this a um, a knowledge database. You know, oh, okay. and uh, but what would happen over time is that we would start to get less calls. Why? Because there's a finite number of questions, and eventually, after about a year of people calling, every answer and question was there, and you could start to sort them. We would sort them. Do you have a question about admission? Do you have a question about you know how to find us? We would start sorting them. We got really fancy. You know, and then we'd start putting them in, in accordions in our website. Right. You know? So that is nothing other than content marketing. People have needs. You fulfill the needs with content. Yeah. You show your what? You show your empathy with the needs of people. Et voila. Right. And now Google likes it because it's an FAQ and a structured, you know, um, uh, structured data block. Um, but that for me would be, you know, content marketing is is that pin board at the A and P where people would stick things for sale, you yeah. know, lost kids, lost kittens, 16 lost kids. kittens, you know, that was, you know, that that was probably, you know, a, a, you know, a forerunner. Well, not a forerunner. I mean, she, well, they still Franklin exist. Franklin was doing content marketing 400 years ago. No. Yeah, with the almanac. 300 years ago. No, 200 and some odd years ago. Um, so that would be my long, long old guy's answer to your question. But keep it my, simple. Kiss. I know. For somebody who's keeping Kiss it simple. Me, baby. Keep it simple. Uh, so <laughs> keep, keep it simple, silly. Silly. Uh, ah, okay. Uh, just to make it less derogatory. Ah. Uh, to me, if it, if you're getting a question from a customer, okay, you're getting a question from a customer, that should be a blog post. Yes, yeah. you could put it on the FAQ, and that sh to in the short term, every single one of those FAQs should also be a blog post. Yeah. Or if they if there are questions within it, that could go in the blog post. Because exactly. guess what else? You can edit blog posts because it's not print; it's the internet. So if somebody has been asking you um, about uh, how, what the process is um, to hire you, then and they're not getting the answer and they keep asking, well, they're asking because your website does not answer those questions. Yeah. Most people, yeah. Uh, you know, they're they're saying, hey Google, you know, how old is so and so, or hey, Google, where's the best donut shop in San Antonio? Or hey, Siri, whatever. And that's why those questions help too. But everybody keeps obsessing about SEO from uh, discovery and forgetting that, that blog posts also serve two other purposes in your marketing strategy. Yes. That is, it's an internal library for your sales team, okay? And also when people go to your website because they found it because somebody told them because, you know, Tom said, definitely check these people out and yep. you went to their website and there's nothing there. It kind of makes you go, mm, I don't know. Yep. You know, if I hadn't met my insurance broker um, another way, if I had only seen his website, I would have been like, wow, this, did this guy just start yesterday? It's yep. naked. It's not just not enough for me. So, um, and, but, so here's the thing. <laughs> when it rains, it pours. Well, I mean, it can be <laughs> a very small thing, but this is still, it's nurturing your audience. Yeah. So yes, you can just uh, be a monsoon and publish all at once and forget, but it's, it is better to do something more regularly. Um, so maybe... Uh, as far as working goes, it's easier to write those answers all at once and collect them. When I was at the general contractor, I had a cabinet door and I put all my sticky notes, epoxy injection. People yeah. were wondering about that, tilt up. People want, and I just kept them right there. And when I had time, I would write those blog posts and then schedule them out mm -hmm. and then update the FAQs. Because we had that too, Riggins Construction. I think that piece of crap, CSS Zen. No, they might have actually put my WordPress site back up, RigginsCONST.com. But you're like, you know, it, it works. 
but those blog posts I still wrote are still there because guess what else? What else, Bridget? The internet has oh, okay. a long memory. <laughs> we want yeah. everything like this. Yeah. That's yeah. not real life. And for um, a service-based business, it, it you're not going to be like, oh no, we're not doing epoxy injection anymore to repair concrete. That's so four years ago. It's not going to be like that, you know. If you're if you do um, haircuts, you know, then what do we we need to know? We need to know if your hours are accurate. We always harp on this. Do we need to wear a mask? That's super important information. Um, and all that kind of stuff. But also I wanna know who your people are. What's the culture like? If I'm getting a haircut with you, I'm gonna spend, or getting my hair colored or whatever, I'm gonna spend one to three hours in your salon. So I kind of wanna be able to get along with the culture. Yeah, oh, for sure. Yeah. Don't just rely on Instagram. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think it's, um, you know, that's really, really true what you, um, what you said. Um, and, you know, it's, 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 it's simple. I don't think, um, I go back to that. I think we make it too complicated. Whoever is advising people make it too complicated or people just, you know, they haven't got that far to think that what they're doing is, is great. You know, and it doesn't have to be a big thing. And they should see that enough. This is definitely where we're going. I mean, look at TikTok. Oh my God. You know, um, there's nothing, you know, planned, professional, you know, thought out. Are you out kidding me? About it's that. totally planned. You think People so? Have... No. Oh my gosh, those things are so edited. All those shuffle dance tutorials and okay, uh, yeah, things yeah, where you have to things. point to stuff yeah, and put words okay. there. It's really sure. hard. I'm thinking about the stuff that, like, you know, just the kids put out there. Yeah. You know, um, and I mean, and I'm thinking about social media, how it used to be, like Instagram, Instagram, Insta, pictures of the moment. And now right. everyone's Instagram is filled with photos that come from Canva, you know, or professionally done, you know. So, We've 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 done this to ourselves. We've we've sort of you know poisoned our own well because um, you know it it was it it was easier, and I think we've made it more complicated. Um, yeah, yeah, especially. But it doesn't Instagram. need to be that complicated. It depends on your audience. You know, if I'm selling if I'm selling like a coffee bar in Dubai, yeah, then it's going to have to be completely airbrushed. But um, if I'm selling these crazy things for my car lot, then it doesn't need to be. It just needs to be the crazy thing. And some guy stick his head and go, am I recording? Yeah. And then moving out of the shot. Actually, that, will that would viral. be really That's funny. great. You know, that's, but that's for the audience. It's not going to play well in Dubai, but that's not the audience, you know? Right. Um, so it goes back to who are you selling it to? What are you selling? What do they care about? Where are they? Do you speak the same language and, and then do it, you know? Well, I, the other thing I think is most small business owners talk to their clients all the time. Obviously, they know it. Yeah, they, they, they just yeah, need a little know. help, which is why there's a, yeah. a plugin called Launch With Words. Ooh, I like it that It has plugin. blogging plump. Blogging plumps? Blogging Prompts. 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 Yes, that's I. That's not easy to say. So you you install it, and it, it, it's me asking you. So what if what do you wish people knew about your industry? Answer and then you answer all those questions, and then when you've done that and you erase all my advice in that little draft blog post, stick it on the internet. You know, it's not that hard. Yeah. We want to yeah. hear from you. We want to know who you are. We. Yeah. I, you know, I want to know who it's important to me. You know, I'm 48. You're whatever your age you're is. You're not. I am. And I mean, I'm not. A, yeah, I'm not a digital native. I'm a Gen Xer. We built the Internet. Right. So, like, I, I want to know if this business has stuff going on. Me and my friends, we look at Google Maps. 
we look at their websites to see what they're all about. Yeah. That's how we decide to use a service. That's how we decide to go to restaurants. Yeah. I'm not just going to look at your Instagram. If you're, if yeah. I go to your website and your menu is crap, you know, and, but if I feel like I'm at a restaurant that has a history. How, how come I can't say stupid, but you can say crap? Because I'm keep, sorry, it continue. Simple, <laughs> keep it simple, stupid is keep it simple, comma, stupid, like you're stupid. No, it's no. Well, how I ever always understand it is keep it simple, stupid, you know, is just like for, for you. Oh, well, you could say keep it stupid, simple. That's not going to work. What yeah, it about does. people who find that offensive being called simple? Anyway, you're you're, okay. you're, you were saying foul. You no were. dead air on podcasts, Warren. So anyway, the point is like you can write about your business. You can publish something. And what if you make a mistake? It's just the internet. You're not yeah. curing cancer. Yeah. Fix it. It's yeah. just the internet. It's not print. It's not yeah. something you can't go backward from. You, yes, I make mistakes all the time. My friends make mistakes all the time. We tell each other when we see things like that and nicely in private messages. And they're like, oh yeah, I put, I put, uh, what one of the things I was writing that you proofread for me, I put, um, tile instead of time because i was thinking about tile flooring so i was thinking about tile it was not a misspelling it was just the wrong word mm, yeah. nobody yeah. grammarly hemingway google they're not going to pick that up but no, my brain is thinking about tile flooring and yeah. so i typed in time tile instead of time that that's what happens stuff yeah. like that happens it's yeah. okay and guess yeah. what backspace doo -doo -doo -doo, that's it yeah and people are gonna people are gonna understand this. I mean, it makes you more human, and then you know, then you've touched the empathy cord again. And um, you know, I don't think people trust perfect perfection. No, they you know, don't. Uh, if it's too perfect, then I think, why did you spend so much time making this perfect? Right. What are you trying to talk me into? What are you trying to hide? <laughs> Yeah, what are you trying to pull over my eyes? I, I just go. don't trust it. Yeah, yeah. no, no, yeah. And that trust is very important. Uh, as we have uh, repeatedly uh, mentioned. Well, we say it so much, it's like when you go to church and you just sing a song that you've heard a billion times because it's Christmas. Literally and a billion times? And it has no meaning because you've sung it so much, it's just like, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. yeah. That's, uh, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. You, when your sales start going down, you need to think about trust. Because that's what's lost. Yeah, and it might then already be too late. Just keep it real. Keep it yeah. real. Do you think we've um, talked long enough? I think so. It's summer, you know, and uh, people want to get back to the pool. They only came in to watch this to refresh refresh their go their drink and right. uh now they're probably going to pour another one <laughs> we should do a show marketing advice in the time it takes to make a cocktail all right here's the thing do your blog switch it up shake 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 publish yeah i don't know i mix it pretty fast i mean you could open a beer like just that's not, like that's not a cocktail it's a beer a oh yes you're right oh you're right so well cocktails gotta have what like a gin and tonic a cocktail uh liquor something uh, salt something sweet something bitter oh my god okay it's science man it's science science oh well we'll talk about that next week in our cocktail uh cocktail recipe show <laughs> <laughs> all right well you have a great uh afternoon in um in texas and uh, I'm going to order some Chinese food. Nice. Yeah. Have a good one. Bye. Bye.